Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy E Games. We're back in Genshin Impact, and today we're going to continue this uh, of ballads and brews um, uh, story quest um, event, story quest limited time event story quest. It's Act Three now. Aromas of the past. Go to the Knights of Avonia's headquarters. The Knights of uh, the Knights have provided Razor with the ingredients he needs. And preparation seems to almost be complete. Head over to the Knights of Avonia's headquarters to check on them. So the main point of this story so far is that Razor has suddenly been uh, told that he... Wait. It's about Razor and his uh, biological parents, pretty much, and Razor learning about them. And uh, one of the things that will help him learn more about his biological parents is the wine that they made that was left for him into some box <laughs> and uh did i track this right and yeah it turns out apparently the way to make that um special wine which i don't remember the name of at the moment <laughs> is actually instead of specific ingredients it's uh to use ingredients that are from monstats like big institutions <laughs> the knights of avonius the uh, Church of Avonius and the Adventures Guild. So yeah, let's see what the Knights of Avonius has for Razor now. Oop! Whoa! Right into it. Hmm. Hyman wonders how Razor's class has been going. Oh yeah, Razor has been uh, hanging out with Lisa, I guess, to try and understand his feelings a bit more. His like human feelings that he doesn't un can't put into words. <laughs> Oh, it's Noelle. Haven't had her in the story for a while. Honorary Knight, Paimon, please stop her. Oh, and Sucrose as well. Whoa, you scared Paimon. What's gotten the two of you so worked up? Sucrose and I agreed to present the wine ingredient to you together. But when she heard that Razor will be showing up, she insisted that she won't spend a moment longer here than she has to. I wonder why. I... I'm not good at dealing with strangers. Anyway, as long as the ingredient gets into the right hands, that's all that matters. Oh, that won't do. We worked on this together, and we should present it together. I can't take credit for what you did. It's not about the credit. Wait, so does this mean the Knights of Avonius's ingredient is a product of bioalchemy? Yes, it's a quadruple sweetness sunsetia. What? Quadruple sweetness? But aren't regular ones sweet enough as it is? Yeah, so those are as sweet as four of them. Also, why is sunsetia? Okay, um, let me give you the full story. I love the scent of wine, and after reading up on the art of winemaking, I have grasped some of the key principles. In short, whatever ingredients you use, it's essential to include something sweet. In an attempt to select the most suitable ingredient, I gathered samples of all the sweet plants and fruits I could find in the Mondstadt area. Then, I tried them all in turn and took detailed notes. I also factored in the differences between the same ingredient grown in different locations. For instance, sweet flowers from Springvale are a little sweeter than those at Cape Oath. But why? Wow. That sounds like a lot of work. It was no problem at all. Just my duty as a maid of Favonius. The chance to source the Defender's will on behalf of the Knights of Favonius is a huge honor for me. Noel, your eyes are sparkling. But Paimon thinks it could be because of Lisa's brainwashing. Paimon, shush. Um, anyway, I, I was worried that my evaluation would be too subjective if only I were involved. Thankfully, I ran into Sucrose the other day on her way out of the lab. Oh no! There's like a, uh, fan theory, I guess, that Sucrose is like a descendant of, like, Yai Miko's line of people. <laughs> Apparently there is a lore where Yai Miko's ancestors, there was like, three of them or something like that 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 are prominent i guess for the legend or the myth or whatever the folk tale that they're a part of and though one of them belongs to yai miko's line and then two of them um like left inazuma and 
to travel the world, and the fan theory is that one of them like settled down in Mondstadt, and eventually that line of, I guess, Kitsune Fox Priestess people <laughs> uh, is what ended up being the ancestor of Sucrose. And uh, yeah, Sucrose is like a descendant of someone from some like a Yaimiko like being <laughs> from Inazuma. It's just that it's been so long that she's lost that like cultural ties with her ancestry. And uh, it's really funny because there's also like lore on Sucrose trying to look for her past, in which uh, she thought she might be part of the Catalin's Catalin line with um, Diona. But then she's like, oh, but Diona is like very cat-like, but I don't think I'm cat-like, and uh, I don't think she even has a tail. <laughs> I don't remember if um, Sucro has a tail or not. If she is actually descended from like Yaimiko's line, then she shouldn't have a tail. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that's a cool fan theory that I've kind of committed to my headcanon at the moment, that she's actually from, her her ancestry is actually from um, Inazuma, and she's like somewhat related to Yaimiko. <laughs> with the, her ears, but instead of pink, she's like that light green color. <laughs> what is it, Sucrose? I just remembered why I left the lab that day. I was supposed to go and fetch some lab equipment we imported recently. Ooh. Oh. Uh-oh. That look on your face seems to say you forgot all about it and have been in the lab this whole time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault, really. I'll go and see Marjorie about the equipment shortly. Carry on, Noel. Oh, okay. Anyway, Sucrose is a true professional when it comes to this kind of research. I showed her my list, and she made some extremely valuable suggestions. Please, you don't need to go out of your way to compliment me. Noel filled me in on the background of the whole situation. I was moved to see how seriously she took this task, even though she'd never even met Razor before. However, none of the potential ingredients she had identified were perfect candidates, in my opinion. What we needed was a fruit high in sugar and easily fermentable. After a final look at Noelle's list, I picked the Sensetia sample from near Cider Lake as a basis, with a view to improving it. Using bioalchemical techniques, we were able to amplify the sweetness, then conduct a few tests to compare the results against the benchmarks. Watching Sucrose work on an experiment when she's in the zone blew me away. Such focus and determination. I, I already said don't compliment me. <laughs> Sucrose. Anyway, the result of our research is the Epsilon series Tetrasweet Sensetia, variation 63. And it's finally ready. The sweetness has been verified through rigorous testing, and the size and color are both optimal, too. The audio quality of Sucro's voice lines sound a little bit weird. It sounds very different than other people. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if, like, YouTube's compression and stuff, it goes through. But right now, when I'm listening to Sucro's talk, it sounds very, like, the quality-wise. It's, like, very different than all the other people. <laughs> I wonder... What's the reasoning for that? Maybe they're from different studios and they have different like standards on how they like the recording equipment and the recording room and stuff are a little different. So it ends up being a little different. I don't know. This is really weird. Noel shortened the name to Quadruple Sweetness and Sedia. Unfortunately, it can't be produced on a very large scale under the current conditions. But as long as we have enough for Razor. This is more than sufficient. Can I have a little bite just to taste? <laughs> Traveler, there's something else I'd like to share with you. Okay. Growing up, I was lucky. I was never the best at dealing with other people, but my parents never placed any expectations on me. They never said to me, you need to be more sociable or anything like that. They just said I should do what I enjoy. So, I'm well aware that I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't lived Razor's life, and I can't pretend to imagine what it must have been like. So, I don't know how much it will mean coming from me, but I truly hope he can find happiness and spend his life doing what he loves. Oh, Sucrose. Oh, Sucrose. The 
the lo door of the library click. Sorry, I am late again. Suiko's books it. <laughs> Teacher forgot about the time. I kept talking and talking. That's all right. We were just chatting. Whoa, deja vu. Paimon said the exact same thing two days ago. Wait, what? Uh, wait a sec. Where did Sucrose go? She's Batman, you guys. Wow. She disappeared the moment he opened the door. Hello. I'm Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Hi. Here's our ingredient for you. Oh, but I can't take full credit for it. I had help from an alchemist, but right now... She... Um... She's uh, MIA. She's a little busy with work. Right, yes. It's a shame she couldn't be here to present it to you in person. <sighs> Smells like potion, nectar, and animal crystal fly, right? Wow. Nothing gets past your nose, does it? This sunsetia is sweeter than ones I have smelled before. Klee said alchemy is amazing. It can make things better. That's right. I hope that this sweet fruit will help you brew the sweetest wine. The alchemist girl also had a message to pass on. Spend your life doing what you love. Thank you all. When she has time, I want to thank her also. Leave that to me. I'll figure out a way to persuade her to... Uh, to not work so hard all the time so that I can introduce you to each other. <laughs> okay, I will wait. Alright, now that we have all the ingredients, we can finally start making the wine. For that, we'll need a barrel, which if Paimon remembers correctly is waiting for us at the Angel Share Stand. Noise. Bye, Noel. We're gonna head off now. Bye, Noel. Thanks for being in the story. Good luck with everything. See you next time. See you next time. Hey, Overall, I think this task was a success. Oh no! Sucrose's lab equipment! I should go help her carry it! Okay. Oh! She actually disappears. <laughs> Alright, go to Vine Lisa Fest to make a wine pulp. To make the wine pulp. I actually wanted to check real quick on Sucrose. Does she have a tail? No, she doesn't have a tail, which is similar to... Wait, let, let's really, really, uh, really take a look here. Hmm, yes. No, she doesn't have a tail, just like, um... I guess I'll have to go into this menu. <laughs> just like Yai Miko, and their ears are, like, pretty similar. I guess hers are more pointy, longer and pointier. But maybe that's because she's a more mature lady. And she doesn't have a tail either. We must check. We must check her tail. Yeah, but then when you like uh, do a uh, what's that plunge attack with her, like holographic tails kind of pop up for her, but uh, not for Sucrose. <laughs> but yeah, I I really like that fan theory where Sucrose is like the same race as Inazuma or as uh, Yaimiko from Inazuma. It's just like. A random happenstance that she's end up in her her family end up up in um, Mondstadt. <laughs> uh, I should go here. Teleport. Weep. Hey, Klee and uh, Diona are here. Ah, uh, those two are up to no good, are they? It's Diona. Wow, it's Diona! I'm always sure we'd run into you at the Cat's Tail stand sometime, but so far, we haven't seen you all festival. Ooh, traitors. Uh, um, what? Ah, I'm so mad! Hey, no being mad. Be glad. <sighs> Klee told me the whole story. So... This bright idea was a brainchild of you two? Hm. How could you? Razor is daddy's friend. And he was a good influence. 
Right up until you got him interested in wine. No, actually, it was his parents that got him interested in wine. <sighs> Razor, you better promise me that you won't turn into one of those old booze hounds that drinks themselves silly slumps over the bar and bursts into tears. I, uh, I don't understand. Sounds like there's been some crossed wires here. Klee, what exactly did you say to Diona? <laughs> um, I told her that Razor's looking for his mommy with the honorary knight's help, and you both seemed really sad and said you needed some wine so maybe Diona could help. <laughs> yeah, I think it's specifically mentioned in Sucrose's profile that she doesn't think uh, her ancestry has anything, has any, like, relation to Diona's ancestry so it kind of lends more credence is that the word it makes the th fan theory that sucrose is part of the inasuma kitsune line a little bit more i guess because it kind of like rules out uh one other major theory that could be because of that and uh they specific like mihoyo specifically said no that's not the case <laughs> So yeah, anyways, that's kind of a tangential to this. But before I finished, Diona said, Klee, say no more. I'm getting involved in this if it's the last thing I do. And then we came here. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh, okay. Hyman doesn't even know where to start. Um, Diona, it sounds like Klee left out a few important details in the story. Let us set the record straight. You explained the situation to Diona. So you're saying Razor wants to make the same wine that his mother and father once made? So he can learn more about them? Hmm. You better not be making this up to try to pull the wool over my eyes. Uh, no way. Absolutely Sorry, not. Diona. It was all Clee's fault for not explaining it properly. So, are you still mad? Or can you help Razor make the wine? I caught a bunch of fish for us to eat. Um, and you can pack Dodoko too if you want. I... I wasn't that angry. We're just trying to help, I understand. I just don't want Razor being led astray, that's all. That's why I may have raised my voice a little bit just now. Mm. Well... Since none of you plan on drinking it, then I suppose I can help you just this once, despite my reservations. But I need you to know that I'm a mixer, not a brewer. So I'm used to working with the finished product. If you really want me to start with a bunch of raw ingredients, that's fine. But I can't make any promises about how it'll turn out. Yay! Diona is the <laughs> Don't worry, Diona, you got this. <laughs> Bunch of flatterers. Now watch this. Diona puts her signature mixology magic to work. All done! That was quick! Now we just need to find a place to store it. We wait, wait for a windier day. Hmm. Does that mean we need to put it somewhere exposed to the wind? Maybe... Windrise? Very windy. Yep, if you say the word windy, that's the first place on every Monstatter's mind. Cool! I want to come too. I have to keep an eye on my foolish father, so I won't be joining you. Klee, come and play again some other time. I will, I promise. Bring go to Windrise. Because of the aromas of the past. Uh, ah, oh. I don't remember this place being that windy. <laughs> that windy Williams. Uh, ooh, Venti's here. Ah, oh, what a curious coincidence meeting you here. Tone Def Bard, what are you doing here? Well, I awoke to the most magnificent aroma in the air. After following the sweet scent of fresh fruit to its source, 
This is where I ended up. Yeah! The fruit are super fresh and super duper sweet. I can smell it as well. <laughs> There's another reason, isn't there? Yes! Oh, uh, I remembered something important. Something that you have to do before sealing the barrel and burying it in the ground. What? We missed something? Razor, do you still remember the scent of that half bottle of Thousand Wind wine? I believe there was a hint of bitterness in there? Yes, there was. <laughs> and with very good reason, too. The source? This! Oh, what could it be? Dandelion seeds. <laughs> You're familiar with dandelion wine, right? Well, the people of Mondstadt believe that the wind can bring back the soul and also preserve memories. What? Dandelion seeds are like living gemstones formed from the first wisps of wind in the year. People add them to the mix at the last second as a way of capturing the wind in the very moment that the barrel is sealed. The memory of that moment is then stored in the wine for all time. So, Thousand Wind Wine is the original dandelion wine. Wait, no way. Wow. That's so cool. So now our story will be made into wine too. As for why it always has a different scent, well, that's because people have the freedom to include whatever ingredients they want. <laughs> <laughs> I want a cheeseburger in mine. Hmm. What is it, Razor? What you thinking about? In Mother and Father's wine, I can smell dandelion seeds, but I don't know what else. In my wine, there is a lot of friendship. I still don't understand my mother and father, but I still have you and everyone else. Everyone has done so much for me. Farka, Teacher, Clee, Bennett, Uncle Brown Cat, Cold Lady, Grown Up with Fake Smile. Who's a grown up with fake smile? Is that a Kaya? Gray, tough girl, person that smells like animal crystal fly, Uncle Brown Cat's daughter. Well, wait, hold on, hold on. Gray tough girl is Noel. Person that smells like a Nemo crystal fly is Sucrose. Uncle Brown Cat's daughter is Diona. Then Fake Smile must have to be Kaya then, right? Because he helped during this whole quest too. Green Bard, Paimon, and Traveler. I remember everyone. Making wine is hard work. And uh, Jean is like, oh, he doesn't remember me. <laughs> Making this wine needed everyone working together. Hard work with friends? Not so hard after all. I'm... I'm so happy. We are all glad to help. It makes us happy to see you happy. Thank you. Friends are also Lupacal. Whether I'm human or I'm wolf, it doesn't matter. From now on, all of us are together. I'm pretty sure you're a human and not wolf, but you're a ways wolf, so I can understand why that could be confusing. When I grow up, we will come back here and we will open this wine together. <laughs> what a magnificent monologue. Even as a bard, I don't feel like there's anything else to add. All that remains now is to bury the barrel and wait, wait for the fruit to ferment. The group buries a barrel in the ground. We're finally done! Paimon feels like a celebration is in order! Um, if Paimon remembers correctly, tomorrow should be wind coming day, right? Wow! The animal god is coming home! <laughs> <laughs> says Klee, not knowing what's going on right now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, That reminds me. I haven't memorized the song for the toasting ceremony yet. <laughs> I better get back. Friends, I shall see you all tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep tonight. Wait for the whisper of the gentle breeze to rouse you tomorrow morning. Then come and enjoy a performance by the greatest bard to ever grace the streets of Mondstadt. Ring. Observe. Is this thing going to be permanently here? 
Observe the pile of dirt where the wine is hidden. The wine made by you and your friends have been buried. Wait for it to slowly age into a beverage most fine. Razor, you were so cool back there. Cool? But inside, I feel warm. <laughs> no, not like that. When you think something's awesome, you can say it's cool or sweet. Oh, hmm. But I think Klee is sweet. Oh, look at their little interactions. So adorable. So is this just here forever? <laughs> Wait, the following day, 10 till 2? 10 till 2. Ten, between 10 or 2. Following day, 10. Oh no, they're gone. Wind coming day is finally here. Let's get a move on or we'll miss the toasting ceremony. But this thing's still here. Woo. We must go back. Wind toasting ceremony. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Wow, so many people have shown up to welcome the Animal Archon! Uh-huh? Why is everyone crowded around the Angel Share stand? Hmm, I wonder why. Tradition holds that the finest wine of the Vinelesa Fest only goes on sale after the Animal Archon has tasted it at the toasting ceremony. Everyone's waiting in line for the big moment. Ugh, so welcoming the Animal Archon back is just a means to an end for them, huh? What about you, Lisa? Are you here for Razor? Yes, I was feeling a little concerned about him, but I just spoke with him, and he tells me that the winemaking went very smoothly. Ah, <sighs> such a relief. A glass of the festival's finest will go down smoothly now, too. Wow, you too, huh? <laughs> Razor and the others are over there. You should go say hi. Oh, okay. Okay, Lisa. Nice to see you. Hey, hey! There you are! Whoa! What's with all these bottles? Selling your own homebrew now? <laughs> these are for Razor, from us! Mommy said that everyone's welcoming the animal god today, and we need to give him some wine. If the animal god likes the wine, he'll turn into the wind and bless everyone! We want the animal god to be happy, so he helps Razor. <laughs> oh, honorary knight! Look what Albedo let me borrow. Oh, what is it? This bottle is from my dad. Luckily, I managed not to break it on the way here. <laughs> uh, it's just for show, though. I have to give it back to them afterwards. Mommy said that the animal god can drink a lot of wine. She said... If he wanted to, he could drink the whole of Cider Lake in one big gulp! What? That's insane. So, do you think we'd have enough between these and the wine raiser's parents left behind? Ah, Green Bard. Uh-uh. Everyone, I am greatly honored to be able to be here today. I have been invited by Acting Grandmaster Jean of the Knights of Favonius to perform a piece for everyone. Thousand Wind Wine. Oh, okay. It is some of the finest verse I know. I dedicate it to the wind and to everyone here with us today. So, technically no one's supposed to know that Venti is Lord Barbados, the Animo Archon. But we know Jean knows. <laughs> Fill up the barrels and store them away Then wait, wait for a windier day Wax the bottles, seal them tight For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites How does this fine wine taste to the tongue As Mondstadt to the ear like a sweet dream of freedom And what are the fruits that went into the brew An explorer's courage, a love tender and true a defender's will, strong as yesteryear Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away As we wait, wait for a windier day 
Pray tell, what treasure does this barrel hold? Tis wheat's greatest triumph, the true liquid gold. As it flows from the keg, what sound drifts by? Wind chimes in the boundless immemorial sky. We raise up our glasses and voices in song as we wait, wait for the wind to sing along. Where do we turn once the thousand winds take flight? To the tales of the lyre, to the sweet dream of tonight. Dear friends, mm. let us now open the wines. Mm. To the Animal Archon! To the Animal Archon. To the Animal Archon, woo! Um... There's no wind. Oh no, Animal Archon isn't here. Don't feel sad, Klee. But why didn't he come? If the Animal God didn't come home, is it because he doesn't like the wine we brought for him? I don't think so, huh? <laughs> of course not. You know, Klee, the wind isn't the only form that the Animal Archon can turn into. He can turn into anything. So today, he must have come back looking like something else. Oh, yay, Paimon. Yeah, just uh, keep perpetuating the wife's tales. <laughs> huh? Really? Maybe he turned into a Jumpy Dumpty. Uh-oh. Sure, Jumpy Dumpty it is. Hope you're listening, Animal Archon! <laughs> Razor, did the Animal Archon bring you a blessing? Yes. I talked a lot with you all, and I learned a lot. Now, I am not afraid. I'm not afraid to take the stand. I think that is a blessing. Don't forget to save me a glass of your wine once it's finished fermenting. Will I get some too? I will remind us of this moment. Yes, we share together, and we remember together. Yay! <laughs> but now I'm getting thirsty. Oh no, you're a kid. You're not allowed to drink wine. Oh, will make you gloopy. We've all done a lot of talking. Let's go get something to drink, shall we? Oh, okay, Paimon. I heard that the Angel Share is selling a new drink called Fruits of the Festival. Everyone's saying it's delicious. <gasps> I want some! I want some! Yeah, we gotta get Klee some. Okay, everyone, let's go. Let's go! Woohoo! Ooh, a little cutscene. <laughs> the wind! It means Anomarchon's here. Archon is here! Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Right, Venti? <laughs> Take this, crush it, and place it on the fracture. Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. Wait, what? They snuck in a bit of Rosaria lore there. <laughs> This is where you must stay. You are our only hope. Forgive me, Kaya. <laughs> is it Rosaria or Kaya that's the fake smiling adult? Good, very good. That's my boy. I will always be proud of you. the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes, I like it. Razor! Uh, Razor! Come on! <laughs> smell it again, smell it again!
Ooh, aromas of the past, quest complete. A Bowser Brew, Act 3. Ooh, Primo Gems, very nice. So yeah, I think that concludes this whole, um, this whole thing. <laughs> I've unlocked all of this rewards. I have apparently unlocked all of these. The Knights have uh, provided Razor with the ingredients he needs. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what was just on the quest thing. Uh, event detail. I have done all of these things. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 uh, cutscene where Amber and Eula walk by your shop and be like, oh, uh, we're here to help, or whatever. And, um, they were... What were they gonna do? <laughs> I don't remember what they said. <laughs> Something about, like, Amber and Eula, and, uh, they talk about Mika, who was really timid, and, uh, that's just how he is, or whatever. And, um, uh, Amber and Eula are both, like, working during the festival or something like that and uh, they don't get any time off but it's because they work hard that everyone gets to enjoy like a safe place or something like that and uh something about i remember there was something about them helping us with our shop in one way or another somehow i don't remember what exactly it was <laughs> but yeah there was that cutscene that i've missed i finished all this and I finished all this. So yeah, everything is done for this uh, quest. Or for this event. Woo! So yeah, that's all I have for you for today. This was a pretty interesting uh, festival. It's weird because in the past they had like the Windbloom Festival. And then like the year after they had the Ludi Harpism. But you'd think since it's a traditional festival, every year it would reoccur. But no, it's just like whatever the story calls for at the time, we just like assume that maybe the Ludi Harpistum or the uh, Windbloom Festival is happening, but we're just too busy adventuring and dealing with stuff in other nations to actually attend to them. <laughs> at least that's what I'm pretending is happening. We're too busy uh, trying to free Inazuma and from the Sakuku Decree or something, and we miss the... We miss that year's... Um, Whatever you call it. <laughs> Windbloom Festival or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah, that's all I have for you for today. I think I said that already. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one where I would probably be doing this or another r, &R related thing. I don't know how I'm going to release these. So those r, &R stuff might already be released. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it all depends on how much time I have to edit and uh, upload them. <laughs> But yeah, wherever it might be, I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye. <laughs>